the set of City Line, right, Shy? This yeah. is what we do when we're not on the show. We're sitting in a corner somewhere gossiping. <laughs> so, Shy, uh, I'm glad you have uh, you are with me right now because we've got an audience question mm -hmm. from Christina. As she is downsized, she needs to uh, get a little bit of your help. Yeah. Her situation is that um, they they downsized to a modular home a few years ago. Uh, they've been renovating inside and out, doing a beautiful job. Yes. She needs some help with uh, bringing the two rooms together, mm -hmm. the paint color, light fixtures, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So we've given the, the problem to you, and we want to show some of her before shots and some of what you've suggested. Yeah, so let's pull up the first shot of the dining room, and this is her before. Now, they've done beautiful work here. It's lovely. I mean, yeah, it, it has a very kind of a farmhouse feel. You see the beautiful beams. Mm -hmm. um, you know, she's, she's carried that over in the table, in that live edge table. There seems to be a lot going on, however. So I'm looking at it. I look in the dining room. The dining room seems very disconnected from the kitchen in terms of style. Okay. I'm looking at sconces next to the television. Um, you know, the lights over the island, the light in the dining room seems to be disconnected from what's happening in the kitchen. It's almost mm. as if the kitchen is a little bit contemporary and the uh, dining room seems to be a little bit more traditional or rustic. It's true. Right? So how can we fix that? So uh, her, her question here was really about color. And yeah. if you look at what we did here, what we did here, we didn't only just change the color, because let me tell you guys, ask a designer a question and you're going to get answers <laughs> you don't necessarily want to hear. Right. But, uh, you know, we want to make sure we're doing it right. So we did this beautiful, soft, almost like a blue-gray on the walls, mm -hmm. which really balances the wood really nicely. But it was it wasn't just about being able to do that. She had a mirror, um, we'll go back to the before again. Yeah. She had a mirror um, almost next to the bar. It was a round mirror looking into the dining room. Yes. What do we always say on the show, when you're when you're hanging a mirror, what does it reflect? Yes, make sure you, you are looking at what you want to be yeah. looking at in that reflection. Exactly, like you definitely in the bathroom don't want to be looking at the toilet twice or, no. you know, something, <laughs> right guys? Yeah, no, yeah, no, no. So in the dining room, this was actually reflecting her entry doorway and mm. not the most beautiful thing. Right. So if we flip back to the after again, we'll see that we've done a piece of artwork there, a large that. scaled piece uh, of artwork. We've uh, changed the pendants over the island to those um, beautiful, mm -hmm. uh, they're almost those glowing teal pendants, which really pick up the blues in the wall. Yes. Yeah, we've taken away the, uh, the sconces in the television. And really we've just kind of created a uh, cross-pollination, what I like to call. Yes. Between the, uh, living, uh, the living room and the kitchen and the dining room. And uh, I think the biggest thing you did there was the paint. The paint yeah. is amazing uh, at unifying the whole space. Yeah. But the light fixtures, yes. so you changed both of them. I did. The light fixture above the dining room yep. is different as well. So it's a little bit more contemporary, so you can pull that contemporary style from the kitchen a little bit more into the Eden area. You got it. And because we wanted to be able to have that a little bit more contemporary feel in both spaces, yeah. one of the, my favorite things to add is a little bit of mid-century modern in right. terms of the decor and style because it's a nice balance. You can kind of work that into uh, into both. Okay, yeah. let's go to the living room now. So the living room before, yep. um, we can see kind of, uh, you know, the kitchen, there's the island, it's open concept, she has the beautiful windows, but look at the side, I mean, I mean, listen, I love watching City Line and I love a big TV, but that <laughs> TV is huge for that space. It's kind of big. It's kind of big. Yeah. It's kind of big. For, let's look at the second uh, before. You see the TV is really almost to the exact size of that piece that she has below. Yes. So, you know, it's, it's far too big for that piece. Now, let's look at the after. Uh, we'll flip to the after, and Ooh, you see like I've that. completely uh, changed it. So, yeah. number one, we've recessed the television into the wall, mm -hmm. and what this actually does is she can, uh, if budget permits, do a beautiful piece of artwork on a track above yes. that can slide over and then close when she's not using it. We've changed out the furniture and the configuration. So she had a chair in the before next to her kitchen yeah. uh, peninsula next to the television, which made no sense. Yes. So instead, we've done uh, we've done a sectional with a beautiful chaise, but then we've done two chairs back to the kitchen yeah which makes a lot more Very sense good. it defines the space listen that's a beautiful answer and Christina thank you so much for your question